Hello and welcome to Light Language Messenger. And for those of you watching on the Great Awakening Generator, you're very welcome here as well. Apologies if the other, uh, the, the second video ended abruptly. Um, uh, as I say, I'm technologically challenged and so sometimes these things can happen. Right, friends. We're continuing with the message of the unicorns and it is for this one. The solar eclipse that's taking place in the next 48 hours on the planet. Hi, Corona Katamaro Topana Corona Makai. Welcome, welcome, welcome. We're just going to have to do an invocation of welcome, clearing our space. Keramatsu, Tralakitana di Dodo Chile Tedamaro. Let's breathe a minute. Um, please, I am trying to make sure that this doesn't look like we're just trying to push out videos in bulk and not give it time and energy and look at the guides. Forgive me if it comes out like that, but I want to remind, I want to reiterate that is not the intention. I was going to do one video and then as I was doing the first one, I was asked to do them separately and put them up one after the other. I'd never do one after the other like that, but it's coming out like that. And I'm going to have to work out the technology and how we do them either as a playlist or we do them just releasing one and a couple of hours, another one and another couple of hours and another one. So please bear with me. I am chartering un I am entering uncharted waters. Something I want to say from the last one. You are no longer in a place of struggle. And I had this message loud and clear yesterday in the morning when I was sitting down here and I and I, I owned it and I I um grounded myself and I sat in prayer position and I held up in, in this uh, mudra, I don't know what it's called. Is it Gyan Mudra? Right, yeah, Gyan Mudra. I sat, I sat there and I just breathed and I just ohmed my way through it. And I said, I don't know what is going on, but I'm going to own it. I don't know what is going on and the jitters are happening, but I'm going to ground me. I'm going to own myself. I'm gonna hold me, and may me make it all my home. Me, oh me, la ma me, are ma ho ma ho ma hara ma ho ro ma ha ma, are ma ko ro ma kara ma inu nu ko la le le te le tofa, so this is not for you the struggle these messages come because you are being mesmerized remember lokoroma here neptune is in pisces neptune in pisces Neptune, the mystifier, in Pisces, in the home sign, demystifies things. So the world out there, all that information that is coming. Wow, I just feel rather <laughs> unsettled right now. I've got to put my feet flat on the ground again. I had one foot on the ground and one on the chair. I just feel that shift with Neptune. So Neptune is in Pisces, I'm understanding. When Neptune is in Pisces, it's in its home sign. And you know, Neptune being in the distance away from the Earth, so many whatever light years away from us. It's further, it's one of the outer planets. And so I don't even know why I'm talking about this, but I didn't think that was going to come up, but okay, it's coming up. So Neptune tends to, when Neptune's in retrograde, the, the opposite happens of what would, so it's a mystery, right? So we are mystified, so we can be fooled, we can be, we can be given information and, and we don't think about it or information can be hidden from us. But when Neptune 
is in retrograde. And in this time, I notice now that Neptune's in its home sign of Pisces. We're getting stuff coming through because of all the other things. This, the eclipses are, um, are also matching that off. And, and, and this solar eclipse is going to shine a light because solar eclipse is about the sun. If we had a full moon lunar eclipse, right? But now we're having a new moon solar eclipse. So just remember that the light that is coming through is vast. And so when you've got this planet that's in its home sign, things are going to change. Things are going to happen. I just feel something weird happening on the side of me. It's just, just sensations. That's all. Right. So just bear in mind, there's a lot of shaking and shifting and shaping and things happening. That was my point about this. And I'm sorry I'm taking so long to come to it. However, I'm going to go back to the point of those people that are going through these and are resonating with this is because you are no longer in a position of struggle. And being out of the position of struggle means that you have done the work and you have come to this place of now it's time for you to take the lead on what it is that you're meant to do here on this planet in this time and space. And if you're feeling like I don't feel human, well, you're not. Okay? You are more light being. You are light being now. You are light being. Yes, you appear in this human form, but you are light being. Okay? And so I hope that this next card, being what it is, it is the Stargate of Lyra, that you will start to see. Now, some of these cards, yes, we've, we've done them before. Okay? But... I want to, let me just take a look, oh, Bex, Bex, we're going soon, I've just got to tell Baxter we're going soon because he's, he hasn't had his walk yet and, and this is what's happening, but I'm going to finish here very soon and we will go, he was just getting a little bit agitated, our oh, Baxter, just one second, musician's mode is on, we'll check that out, I don't know friends when I'm going to get that right, so thank you for your patience. Okay, here we are, Stargate of Lyra, Koromake Nankata Tadamaichi. Expand your causal chakra, enter the unicorn kingdom. We've just had an amazing unicorn here. I've seen it, I don't know, you must. You might share your thoughts with me, write in your comments about the unicorn that turned up for you, because I'd really love to know. Hira Katona Korama, you know, from the previous video. Lyra is a magnificent cross-shaped stargate between this universe and others. Beyond it lies the Unicorn Kingdom, Archangel Christiel, the wondrous white angel of peace, overlights it. This card invites you to visit the Unicorn Kingdom through the Stargate of Lyra. Ask a unicorn to take you there, and Archangel Christiel will open the gate for you. When you enter, feel the ocean of tranquility and love as thousands of unicorns surround you, pouring pure white light, white Christ light over you. This purifies your physical, emotional, mental, and spiritual bodies. Then they stream light into your third eye to expand it and awaken it to higher possibilities. After this, they illuminate your heart center to open it more fully. Finally, they cleanse and heal you at a soul level before cascading sparkling diamond light and generous blessings over you. Look for a quiet space where you can absorb this. This is also a card of higher service. It invites you to develop your causal chakra above and slightly behind your crown so that it lights up and becomes a portal through which unicorns can enter Earth. Sorry about the noise in the background. To help you, Archangel Christiel will send a finger of his light via the moon to the spiritual center. His light will be stepped down to a frequency that it can accept and will open and activate your personal gateway to the angelic realms. Focus on this transcendent chakra and see it glowing above you with a personal moon, like a personal moon, so that unicorns can come through it to earth.
Friends, two seconds. I just want to get Baxter outside and I'll come back to you. I'm just going to pause the recording. Well, friends, here I am back. Baxter didn't go out. <laughs> it was for me. I went outside, walked around a little bit for a few seconds. Oh, a few, maybe two minutes and I've come back in, had some water and I've come back in. So Kerama Katona Kerama energy is wonderful at the moment and strong. And I hope you had time to um, just pause yourself and, and just get yourself in a good space. Karame Katona Karata Pena Chorokete. All right, we're going to share screen again and bring back the unicorn picture. Okay, so we were at the point where we <clears throat> were imagining a personal moon above us. Right, for this one, we get to ride on the unicorn to the huge. We're going to go to Lyra, Nikaramake. Now, friends, remember the unicorn we brought in earlier? Mikelare Kotonomai. Let's take a moment. Breathe if you need to breathe. Breathe into your third eye like we did in the, in the previous one. Previous video. Can you see your unicorn? I can see mine. Guess what? Guess what? I seem to be wearing a golden cloak. I've got some headgear on. My hair is golden blonde. <laughs> My dream hair. How do you see yourself? How do you see yourself? Come on, Kisha, make it out. There's a light on me. Now, ride on your unicorn. Get on the unicorn. And ride on your unicorn to the huge, pearlescent gates of Lyra. <sighs> Can you see as you approach Archangel Christiel? Welcoming, welcoming you. Approach Archangel Christiel. Hila hilu mahila hula mahiara na kita, and now Archangel Christiel is welcoming you, and as he welcomes you, you are feeling his blessings, and he's blessing you, and you are feeling his blessings. Amen. Ho na te na te na te na te na te na. Yali mo ra 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 I see a rainbow. I see clouds and I see rainbows. Now explore it, and as you explore it, receive your healing and your blessings, my beloved friends. Archangel Christiel's light. Beams through the moon into your causal chakra. Your chakra expands and shimmers like a personal moon above you. Kenakurukonomakitana kurumakitanokumatekamotu tututukuna. 
And now many unicorns are stepping through it onto your onto our planet. We have invoked many unicorns to come through your causal chakra because it sits above you like a moon. Your causal chakra is a gateway for unicorns to come through and hear on Honor to you, friends. Remember the unicorns that left the planet when Atlantis got very dark. They couldn't be here. Ooh, I really feel this in my solar plexus. Solar plexus of the planet. South Africa. South Africa. South Africa is the solar plexus. Of it. So these unicorns that have come through, they've come through for many people on the planet. You're bringing them in for many people. I've just somehow, when I felt the solar plexus agitated, I just realized. I needed to bring this in for South Africa. Please, when we're bringing this in, just remember. I can't say this in so many words, but I've got to tell you. It's been a dark place for humanity. So it's very important that we brought this in through the causal chakra and that unicorns are coming. I also want to say to you, I'll just stop sharing and share again because something, one of the files came up and I'm just making sure that you're going to see the unicorn, right? Rather than seeing that file come up because it was sharing my screen and I thought it might share that screen with you. Friends, South Africa. It is so dark in the darkness that it is in. All right, as we have light, there's a lot of light workers in South Africa. There's a lot of light workers. And what's happening in South Africa is quite often light workers are not necessarily communicating with other light workers. They seem to feel and be on their own. Now, the unicorns have come in. I brought them. One that I brought in and all of us that brought in together. Now, if you were bringing in South Africa unicorns and, and you were saying solar plexus and you were feeling something in your solar plexus, that means we need to bring it in for South Africa. Now, when you're bringing that in, I want you to remember, I beg your pardon, I'll say it again. I'd like you to remember that what you're bringing in right now and if you're bringing it into the solar plexus of the earth, this is a warrior pose. This is a warrior warrior clap. Okay. Oh my gosh. Friends, now remember that unicorns left the planet when Atlantis got really dark. And we brought them in. 
And this light that they came with is what's going to start lifting the veils that, that exist in places like South Africa. Konokaracha <laughs> Okuntra. So makaramatu kota ina kitela kota tana ma stopping sharing for a screen for the screen right now. Kora mai kitena te. You can pause it if you need to look at it longer. Oro kada na griero to mara na wa kuchte mai karamatu frana hey. So yera ma kota we have cleared the solar plexus. Solar plexus. It's not solar plexus. <laughs> solar plexus. I don't know why I said plexus. Ma kora na. Okay. Kena da oro mai stete frana hey. Just trust that we have done some work here. The unicorns we brought in, and if you felt the solar plexus, that's where they're going to. The unicorns left the planet when Atlantis got dark. They had to. Okay? Now, they've been returning since 2012. But when we're asking them, and when we're bringing them, and we see feeling our solar plexus, and we think it's got to do with South Africa, just remember that they're going to a very dark place. But now, we're in a position where... We can, we can hold the light ourselves. They are giving us the light to hold. We are there. If you are in South Africa, even better. But even if you're not in South Africa, that's what we just sent there. Oh, my solar plexus is starting to ha happen again. So we're also getting a clearing. Karamakato. I just get that, that we're getting a clearing. Friends, I say thank you so much today for your patience, for your understanding in all things. Thank you for your love. Thank you that you get it. Things are really shifting in a big, big way. And you know the frown you keep seeing when I say that? It's going to go away. Because it's for joy. It's for amazingness. It's for who you have come to be. You are going to. You, are you have come. You have arrived. You are now going to move forward into the things that you are divinely orchestrated to be doing here on this planet light being that you are light being that you are i'll catch you next time here on light language messenger and the great awakening generator and thank you so much for your patience and your understanding so much love so much love and blessings to you dear ones I said the word I forgot. I had a dream that I was speaking to all of you and I didn't say hello friends. I said, dear ones, welcome to Light Language Messenger and the Great Awakening Generator. And I couldn't remember until just now, this last two seconds when I said dear ones. That is it. Dear ones, thank you. Thank you. Halama fohana. Namaste. Lots of love. Iramako chomo. And you are in the stars. And keep shining your starlight. Inamako foranaka. Tebeke. Takaranishteke. Namaste. Bye everyone.